Hey everybody, my name is Jordan Castro and I am sponsored by Team Dynamic This and I'm going to show you what's in my 2019 uh, in the bag to start off the season. So uh, this year I'm rocking the uh, Dynamic Dis Ranger bag. Uh, thank you to uh, Matt Lloyd of um, the Arkansas Dynamic Disc Store. He uh, hooked me up with this one. So I like the color, I wanted something new. Last year I was carrying the Commander bag and just uh, wanted to switch it up this year and this is what I'm rocking this year. The, the gray, the blue, and the custom one. This is the 101, so I'm really liking it so far. So I'm gonna start off with my putters. So I keep my putters up top, just a little easier to um, get to right away. So I have two sets of putters in my bag right now. Uh, depending on how I feel and depending on how warm it is, I carry just an, um, so I got uh, the Blend Wardens and the um, <laughs> the Hard Wardens. <laughs> so the Blend is a little bit grippier, so in case it's a little warmer, it's something I can grab. And the Hard is just in case it's a little bit colder and they both feel good in the hand. These are XLs and there's, I found these at the warehouse. They're supposed to be burst, but they're just plain white. So huge member of Team Warden. So these are what I like. I'm a spin putter, so I like to keep it nice and flat and it holds the angle and it makes me commit to the putt right away. So, and I also have some approach putters up top. I have the Prime Justice. The Justice is in the baseline plastic. So it's easier for me to hold on to and grip. I usually use this one for sidearm approaches when it's windier. And I also throw this one backhand, probably up to 300 feet. I just can put it out wide and let the wind just carry it. And it's the prime plastic. So it's just trying to stick and grab the ground super fast. And I'm also um, playing with the Cenus. Uh, this is one of the first ones I got with Latitude 64 when I first got sponsored. This one is a classic heart, and you can just tell this one has some wear and tear on it. So I use this one as an understable putter. So I can throw it up on a hyzer, pop it up, and it'll slowly turn. And the best thing about this, it's still overstable. So it still has that slight finish. And even if I don't need a turnover on it and need a straight shot, I can just pop it up flat and just let it go and let it come back. So those are my putters and let's move on to my drivers. So I carry five drivers right now. I have four enforcers and a defender right now. So I'm gonna start off with my most overstable one. I have to represent the Fusion Burst uh, Enforcer. This is my most overstable disc right now. It has the dome on it and the feel is money. So this one I can throw on a hyzer, pop it up, and it's still gonna go left. No matter what angle on it, it's gonna come out. This is one of the most beefiest enforcers I've thrown, and, and it's my stamp too from last year. So huge fan of this. And my main two drivers right now are the green enforcers. These are Fusion, and these are the old school uh, run of them. So Anywhere you see me throwing a longer shot are usually these. It just feels so comfortable in the hand. They're nice and grippy, uh, no matter what weather it is. Sidearm, uh, backhand, flexing, any shot are usually this one. So the Let's Go one is my first one. That one's more overstable than the uh, beat up one, the, just the regular stamp. So I like to use these on a shot where I can pop it up, glide a little bit right, and come out. The consistency of the enforcer is a huge reason why I throw these. Um, I got stacks of these ones at home, so in case I lose these, I'm pretty set with them. Then a step under those is my bio enforcer. This is one of the older ones as well, uh, the orange ones that came out way back when. So just like this, this is the older run. The plastic is super nice and grippy. I use this one for hyzer flips and just glide to the right. This one is rarely coming out. So this one's just beat up. I got this one from Robert McCall, our team manager, and he knows that I like these, so he hooked me up with it. Then a new disc that I just recently put in my bag is the Bio Defender. 
Uh, this one is similar to the orange bioenforcer, but this one won't dump and turn compared to um, the orange one. This one has the stability to come out. This was my main driver last weekend um, in Las Vegas. So I just like the feel, it's super flat, lightweight, and uh, I got this from my buddy Jonathan Foster, and it's for his tournament that he's raising, um, that he's putting on this year. So I liked the stamp, liked it everything. So thank you for that, Jonathan. Next, I'm gonna uh, move on to my fairway drivers. So, I'm going to start off with my um, most overstable disc. All right, first one is the um, Lucid Criminal. This one is super flat. It's just a blank one I picked up at the warehouse. It got the team stamp on it. I've had this for over a season and a half now. And this one is uh, straight, but still has the consistency of the finish to the left. No matter um, what I do with this, it always comes out. Um, approaching with it super easy. I sometimes throw a sidearm on it. My sidearm's not that uh, good, even though I started out it. So that's why I'm a hyzer flip turnover guy. So one, once in a while, I'll bust out a sidearm with it. Then my next two are the getaways. These remind me of an enforcer, get the same amount of distance and um, consistency but these I can control better. So I can um, throw it on the same thing as an enforcer, but these ones are really good. I have a first run uh, Lucid, super lightweight, 167, but this thing is domey and overstable. I've thrown this in so much wind and it has not flipped over on me. It's always finishing left. So that's why I carry a bio as well, because this one will turn, but has the stability to come back. These two, are my lifesavers right now. I'm really digging them right now and I'm a huge fan that they came out. Then a step underneath that is the Explorer. Um, I carry both the Getaway and the Explorer because this is slower and just like the Getaway, um, this is a little less stable so I can still throw more power onto it and get that same shot as I do at the Getaway but it doesn't have the stability as the Getaway. So I've, this is one of the first ones I got and I just, like the color on it, like the burst, and it just, the rim on it feels great to me. The step under that is the Maverick. This is a Proto Maverick when they first came out. Um, this is my understable fairway right now at the moment. Um, I can throw this on a hyzer, pop it up flat, and just uh, get the little S turn out of it. No matter um, what the shot is, if I'm playing in the woods, even got to move around some trees down the fairway, I kind of go towards this because it's a little slower. And if I power onto it, it's not going to go as far as a getaway explorer type thing. So this reminds me of a, like my longer fuse. And once in a while, this comes out in the bags for like um, shots, rollers, hyzer flips, little sidearm pitch ups. This is the Lucid Thief with the burst in it. So I don't throw as much rollers as a lot of people, but whenever you need it, I always have this in my bag, just in case. You never know when you need a shot like that. That usually stays on the left side of the bag just because I throw the Maverick and the Getaway and they're the same color. So if I know it's on the left, I know that's what it is. All right, we're gonna move on to the mid ranges. The mid ranges are on the far right side, just so I know where they're at. I have a harp. This is kind of like my, um, also my sidearm approach disc, but with, with the difference between this and the Prime Justice is a little slower and it's not as overstable. So if I do throw a shot and need to um, hit it hard, it's just slowly gonna get there. It makes me like power up onto it. And it's if I miss a shot, like miss the angle I want to, it kind of holds the angle. It's just kind of like, all right, it tells you like you messed up, but it's still consistent to do that for you. Then a step up over that is my Lucid Justice. I carry this one just in case it gets windy because the medium harp and the prime justice, 
if it gets windy, those things can't really hold the wind with my power just because I throw it too hard in the angle. So I just carry this one just in case, and it's a custom stamp I got made, dyed from my sponsor, Sky Candy. It's uh, the dynamic disc with the airborne, so representing both of them, and it represents my dad. So really um, nice to have that with me on the road. Next mid ranges are the Emac Truce. So these two are my favorite mid ranges right now. Um, this one is the straighter one, of course. So this one can hyzer flip and go about three, 350 straight, still get the pushing it and then finish left. So then if it's a little windier, like it usually is, I bust out the Emac uh, Moonshine Truth. So this one's a little bit domier, and this one I can control the angle and it's still coming out. This is, I just recently put this in the bag and I'm a huge fan of it already. So I needed that consistency with the Emac Truth and I think I hit a home run with these. And save the best for last, the Fuses. Huge fan of these three discs. I play a lot in the woods. My home courses are woods and these are the discs that help me throw with confidence for sure. No matter when I grab this, I know like I'm feeling confident with it. I have three in the bag right now. I got an old um, Opto one with the Team 64, so when I was with Latitude. I got an old school um, Opto one as well. Jesper run, digi weight. So, and I got a custom one, Miko. This is a new run. This is a, a Dymax of my dog that we have back home. So, get to take her on the road with me as well. So the this green one doesn't come out too much unless the shot is way to the right. Cause I can throw this on a hyzer, pop it up, and it's this one's not coming back at all. Just cause it's so beat up and it's super lightweight. The yellow one is what I tend to go with the most. This one is hyzer flip straight with the slow um, turn to the right. If you know me, every time I grab a fuse, it's gonna be this one, guaranteed. Just because the plastic feels so great and I got stacks of these yellow ones at home, so. Then a newer run, this one is my most overstable fuse. Um, when you think of overstable fuse, you think it's way beefy. No, it's not. It's just hyzer pop and it's gonna go straight and push forward then if I really snap on it, um, it does get the fuse effect. But this is just a little domey new run of it. Um, picked this one up at the warehouse and really liking it right now. And on the side pocket, I just carry a couple extra discs, a couple extra drivers, putters. I mean, depending on the course, we're here in um, Arizona at Fountain Hills. So I just put in a brand new enforcer and defender in just in case I lose one of my good ones. So these are pretty much my water discs. I got a Domi new run of my buddy Eric. He's he's in the water already, so it just kind of reminded me, okay, this is a water disc. It's super Domi. It's a, just a Dymax one, just a blank one. Then just a, a Fusion Defender as well too, just nice and flat, just in case. I mean, you'd rather be safe than sorry just to bring an extra disc because I don't want to lose two of my good green driver or enforcers or my good in, uh, Defender. So, and another thing is, I just have some bag tags on my side of the bag. I have my unicorn kitty, um, that's back home. My buddies put that on my bag and just left it there and huge fan of them. Then I also have some bag tags from Minnesota. Then just a couple of remembrance things. My buddy Matt Van Horn passed away, Minnesota guy. I carry that on my bag, so wherever I go, it's kind of remembrance. Like, I played one of my first tournaments with Matt and fortunately passed away. And another thing is, uh, I got one with my dad too. Uh, my buddy Gabe, he made that. Um, just kind of, he passed away as well too. So whenever I have kind of a bad shot, I just kind of look at my bag and just like, all right, just remember. So it really gets me happy, it gets me out of the mood, so. And this year, got a custom mini. It is the leather mini, has the crown and the Facebook like. You know me, I'm always on Facebook. I like everything, so if I didn't see it, I didn't like it, so that's the go-to So right now. So thank you for tuning in and watching my In the Bag, and I'd like to um, thank Dynamic Disc for the opportunity, and see you out there on the course.